Hi everyone, I'm Dr. John Sapolo from Western Kentucky University. We had a lot of questions this year from the Allstate uh, saxophone piece that goes up to the high F sharp, so I thought I'd make another quick video and just talk to you about how to play some high notes. If you haven't played high notes, altissimo notes, on the saxophone before, maybe we can give you a few little uh, pointers. So, number one, I'm going to show you uh, a few exercises, two exercises. Uh, if you want to take a screenshot of this, and get this straight for you. There we go. There we go. And then this other page here. So, the altissimo is not necessarily a fingering issue as much as an air, tongue, and uh, embouchure control issue. So the first exercise that we want to do in a couple of steps is number one, be able to play different notes with one fingering, a low note fingering. So we're going to finger low B flat. And notice I can play the low note by popping my F key like this at the same moment I, I release my air and I don't have to use my tongue. Take a deep breath, release the air and pop the finger at the same time. saying, well, that's not the high F sharp in the piece, and let's hurry up with this video to get the high F sharp to come out. Well, let me tell you that if you can't do these beginning exercises, it'll be uh, very, very difficult to get the higher notes out. So spend a little bit of time with some of these preliminary exercises on this right here, and like I said, just maybe take a screenshot of this and print it out on your computer. So just get the book straight for you again here. Let's see. I can get it straight for you. There we go. That's it. That's it. Okay. So let me give you some more examples of this. staff, the F on the top line of the staff, and then B flat, one ledger line above the staff. You can work through these exercises gradually. Uh, the next set is the other page that I've showed you. And what I would recommend with this is to finger through these exercises, playing these exercises with these alternate fingerings right here. And the reason you're wanting to use these front keys, these E with the top key here and F like that, instead of your E and F like this, is because this has a different resistance to it. And when you use the front keys on the saxophone, that gives you a similar feeling to what you're going to feel like when you play an F sharp above the, uh, the staff. So, uh, one other thought. Some of your saxophones may have a high F sharp key right here. You have your chromatic F sharp here, but the high F sharp is played with all three fingers in the left hand, the top key here, and this key right down here with your third finger. If you don't have this key in your saxophone, the alternate fingering is this top key, this key here, and the B flat key. Now, if we, uh, this is a very resistant note. It doesn't want to come out very easily in the saxophone. So, Again, what I recommend is going through these exercises from a register in the saxophone that is easy to get out, like a C, and then work your way up through it with these front fingers.
etc., and just go through the exercises slowly. Please pay very, very careful attention to the position and the feeling inside your mouth of your tongue and of your air. You may have to manipulate the position of your tongue and your air to get this front note, this front fingering of the E and the F to speak. Now, how to finger the F sharp, like I said with the top front key here, the A key and this side B flat key. Once you're able to get some control over the E and the F, next we'll try to add this side key here. So, so up from C, that's your F sharp. So, my recommendation, please spend some time with these exercises. This book here is a very, very old book uh, here. I don't even know if you can still buy this book. Um, but I would recommend, there's also Top Tones for the Saxophone by Sigurd Rascher. And Eugene Rousseau wrote a book as well. Um, the main thing is to spend some time with your overtones every single day. Practice every day. And some of these overtones... <laughs> picture I showed you earlier in this video, and also if you buy the Sigurd Rasher Top Tones book, you'll have a series of exercises in those, in that book as well. I wish you all good luck, and please be in touch, uh, any uh, Kentucky high schoolers that are having some more trouble, let me know uh, on email, you can reach me at WKU uh, through uh, john.sapola at wku.edu, j-o-h-n dot c-i-p-o-l-l-a at wku.edu. Thank you very much and have a good week.